Hey, welcome back. We just hit 90,000 subscribers. Thank you. I'm sure I'll say a bunch of really nice stuff to you at 100,000. So if you're, if you're in need of some positive affirmations in your life, stick around till 100K. I'm gonna be kissing the camera lens and blowing bubbles and handing out flowers and anyway. Let's jump into it. We're looking at goofy, scary things today. Oddly terrifying. The the explanation is in the name. We're sorting by top of the month. This subreddit's really popular. It's got two and a half million members and the top post of the month has 80,000 upvotes. We're getting what the people have voted to be the most oddly terrifying. Let's see how they chose. A month ago, I became friends with a crow. Today, he brought me at the skull of another crow. Huh. A month ago, I became friends with a crow. Today, he brought me the skull of another crow. How confident are you that it's the same crow? Because I don't know if you guys have seen crows, but they're just birds. What if, hear me out, what if there were two crows, one observed the other one befriending you, got a little jealous, and then killed or murdered, little crow-related humor for you, <laughs> murdered the other crow, and gave you his skull, like that's what you get for trying to steal my friend from me. I think this could be a whole scheme, but in all seriousness, sort of, um, how do you befriend a crow and then why is he bringing you stuff? And how do I get a pet crow? The most interesting part about this is a month ago, I became friends with a crow. How do you befriend a crow? He just landed on like your crops and you were like, what's up, dude? You wanna hang out sometime? Go grab a beer? And then a month long montage of you having nice moments together and suddenly he's bringing you skulls of other crows? I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like a red flag. Abandoned Tori Gate found at the end of a submerged tunnel in Japan. We've seen this picture before. I forget which video it was on, but I don't know if it being a Tori Gate is like scarier or if it's less scary. This definitely is kind of the oddly terrifying because the more you think about it, it's like, okay, well, why is this here? You know, like, is it common to put this in a tunnel? It seems like the one place you wouldn't be doing anything super spiritually. I don't know. It could be like maybe monks lived in the tunnel. I don't, I'm not going to pretend to know what this is, but the picture is creepy visually. We'll say that. I, I'm qualified to say that. The flashlight shot of the tunnel with this gate right there don't love it oddly terrifying good one new york city during the fires geez we're all very familiar with this city skyline view thing because it's in like every movie that's in new york which is like half the movies half of american movies i should clarify and also i'm exaggerating you know for comedy but this view is what we usually see but you can't really see it. It shows you just how bad the air quality was, um, which is pretty gnarly. A restraining device used to immobilize infants during circumcision. This is like, this makes me all sorts of uncomfortable. Just this, no context needed to know how terrifying this is. This is just horrendous. Circumstraint. They got this quirky little brand name for this. People ask you what you do for work and you work for a company called Circumstraint. I don't even know what to say about that. That's oddly horrifying. Washing the kids stuffed animal. <laughs> Yikes. Um, if you're saying the kid stuffed animal is creepy, then maybe you shouldn't have gotten them that stuffed animal. You know what I mean? Man. It's head deliberately staying above water. It looks like it's having a great time, but I get that it's a little weird. When you hear a bang and discover an aircraft engine lodged in the wall of your house. Huh? What is this, Donnie Darko? That's crazy. How heavy this must be? If it hit the top of your house, I would think it would go through the roof, right? I'm also surprised this got lodged in the wall and didn't just take out the wall. It's oddly terrifying because it's such a freak thing to happen, but this is terrifying. The idea that an engine can fall out of the sky onto you. Don't love that. That's just terrifying. But since uh, the chances of that happening to any of us is pretty much zero, oddly terrifying, crazy. As someone who's had a tree fall in my house somewhat recently, I can only imagine the sound that this metal block made when hitting the side of your house. That would rattle your bones. <laughs> Falcor in his retirement home? Who the heck is Falcor? Am I too young to get this? Is this a thing that I should know of? Either way, 
creepy. But hey, your organization, fantastic. I don't know what you need to organize so much of, but keep it up. It looks nice. My dog was pretty nervous about heading down this trail for some reason. Bro, if your pet is freaking out about going down a trail, don't go down the trail. They know more about the spooky realm than we do. If your dog is barking at the corner of your room, I had a cat at one point in time. They wouldn't do it often, but every now and then, it would be a completely empty, quiet room, just me and them chilling, and then suddenly they would just stare at a random point in the room for like 15 seconds. And sometimes they'd do that same point multiple times over the course of a day or over the course of a couple hours even. And I'm like, freaking stop it, dude. If you can't offer a solution to what to do about the haunting in my home, don't point it out to me periodically, okay? I don't need that. But my based on nothing but feelings advice to you is, if your dog is freaking out about a scary trail in the forest, consider not going down it. I don't know, dogs chase their own tails and stuff, so I don't know how much value you should put on their input, but something to think about for sure, okay? Because this stuff creeps me out. And kids too, I don't, we don't gotta get into all of it, but like when kids are like, mama, grandpa told me that blah, 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 and grandpa passed away like 20 years ago. And I'm like, bro, I hate that stuff. And that stuff gives me the heebity jeebities. Sanding wood for an hour creates this arm of abomination, dude. I'm happy this is just sanding wood, because if you gave me any sorts of organism explanation for this, this would creep me out. But just like s essentially sawdust, I'm down for that, okay? This is cool. It just sort of latched onto the hairs on his arm to make this sort of texture, and it looks cool. I would say not terrifying. No terrifying here from me. Without a title where I had to guess what was happening here, I'd be creeped out. Knowing this is just sawdust, no big deal. I used to work in sort of a factory type environment where we were always sanding wood and metal and that stuff gets everywhere. I'm relieved to have a not scary one, but also eh, go post it on the hairy arms subreddit or something. <laughs> what in the world is this creature? What kind of, get this chicken. It's that snatcher mix. You know you want it. Come get it. Come get it. I don't know what in the world you are, but we gonna get you out this water. Somebody let me know, what is this? It's half turtle, half I don't know what the fish snatcher boy. You move too quick, watch out there now. Like that chicken, don't you? <laughs> My first thought with this goofy looking face is that it was just not real, you know? You gotta ask yourself that question with like every video on the internet because so much of it's just not real. Because someone told me recently that sometimes people lie on the internet. I know, I don't wanna believe it myself at first either, but uh, turns out it's true. There's no hot singles in my area that want to meet me. People are saying it's one of these, but honestly, I think it's an alien. They're also saying it's got like a little bit of an albino thing going on here, or not albino, that other thing, the one that's basically albino, but their eyes aren't red. It's definitely a turtle of some kind, but this neck is so weirdly long and the color is so weird. I want to say that it's cute, but it's not. I'm sorry, dude. Built in the 18th century, this is one of the oldest buildings in, not going to pronounce that, nor Norway. Um, hey, look, it's, it's the chicken feet Baba Yaga house. Is this what the legends are based on? This house built on tree trunks? Also, how is it still standing? I have a lot of questions. It also looks as if it's been burned, right? This is all burny looking. Oh, you think houses have gone up now? Back in the 18th century, houses had gone up so much you couldn't even get inside them anymore without climbing a tree. Count your blessings. Worst joke I've ever made, on to the next one. Oh, this video. Swimming against the current. <laughs> See if he can make it. Speed up, Arden, speed up. You got it, you got it, you got it. Dude. He must be getting so tired too. Oh. The video cuts off as he's like tiring out. He jumped off the dock and he was unable to get back on. Currents, dude. Don't even get me started on the water and how it's kind of scary. Hyper-realistic Harley Quinn statue. Oh, I hate this already. Oh, I was expecting it to be like, oh. Not... 
moving realistically too. It's too good. You know, I hate that the video starts with all this, you know, just show me the statue and show it move a little bit. You gotta start with putting in an eye in the mouth. That's freaky, dude. Impressive. But yes, I'm gonna go with oddly terrifying because of a number of reasons, but this shot being probably the number one. Found a 16 inch, 16 inch, 16 inch blade tucked under a tree in my front yard not mine and was not there before that is a big blade so it was tucked under a tree that's terrifying provided you can confirm it wasn't there already which it sounds like they're pretty confident wasn't there why is it there now any sort of knife on your property is gonna raise alarm if it wasn't there before but this is so overkill this is a sword Someone left a sword in your yard. This very much screams homemade to me in a lot of ways. It looks like they just found a long piece of metal and kind of sharpen it themselves based on how it's kind of crooked. And if you look at the end here, it's very much like a tape handle and you can see the edge of the piece of metal here where it splits in two right here, like it's part of something bigger. You can see how it's like kind of crooked on one side and how it's not sharpened evenly. I'm being a nerd about this because I used to make knives for work. I don't know why you would go through all this work to make a weapon and then leave it somewhere, unless that itself was the threat of like, I'm leaving a weapon on your property. I have a weapon, or I can make weapons, and I also know where you live. Maybe some kid was wandering around with the blade they made, which is weird and dangerous, and I'm not excusing it, um, and they just dropped it, maybe it was dark or something. Or maybe they threw it because they were mad that it didn't turn out. I don't know. Fun biology fact, toddler skulls are full of teeth waiting watching. Oh, I've seen this before. God, it makes me so uncomfortable, dude. Teeth stuff. Ah, oh. The fact that there's, it's just looking at me, dude. The fact that there's two layers of teeth, but then the second layer has like a couple extra ones too. Like they're all kind of jammed in there. It just, it's just, it just, it creeps me out, dude. We're moving on. Oh, this is the one with the whale, right? Spoilers, but we've just seen this a couple times now. Dude. How deep is this dock? The whale could also just be really, really lost. But hey, he found a snack, so maybe he's right where he needs to be. Underwater tunnel connecting Denmark and Sweden. Bro? <laughs> There's a tunnel? It's four kilometers, two and a half miles long. That's crazy. That's crazy to think that you drive on this? You leave land. You're on a long stretch of bridge above just water. You can see that the road ends ahead of you. Then you drop down into a tunnel below sea level, still in your car. Also, maybe there's an obvious answer to this question. I'm going to be dumb for asking it, but why go underwater? Bridges work fine. I guess maybe the water... Ooh. Maybe the water gets so deep, it was just smarter to have it go down instead of having to suspend it through all this deep water. So because the water gets so deep, tunnel was the better option than having to build this super tall bridge on this super deep water. I know that's my own explanation. I'm not gonna Google it because I feel like we gotta move on, but that's crazy. I can't imagine driving deliberately into an underwater tunnel. Would you drive through this? Speaking of which. This is crazy. The answer is no, I would not drive through this because my car, I swear, it must weigh like 10 pounds because whenever it's windy out, the wind tugs at my car so much when it doesn't even seem that windy. So wind like this, I'm flying off the road. Like it wouldn't be would you drive in this, it'd be would you fly away in this. So no, I would not. The speed of lava, kind of terrifying. What a crazy video to just be like walking around near where this is happening. I'm putting that on my bucket list, honestly. I think seeing lava with my own eyes is a bucket list thing. I've been trying to add more stuff, like little things. I know when people think of a bucket list, they think like, go to Paris, you know, go skydiving maybe, I don't know, stuff like that. But I feel like I have stuff like that on my list too, but I'm trying to fill it with like smaller, more achievable things also that are just really unique, like going on a hot air balloon like seeing lava with your own eyes, getting 100,000 subscribers on this channel. <laughs> That's right, come on baby, hit that button down below, you know what to do. Sinkhole opening on fairway golf course. 
Oh gosh. Dude, do not. Are you freaking kidding me? It's like actively falling and he sits on like the skinniest part of it, dude. I mean, look, you're probably not gonna like die instantly, but look at this water, man. Based on the terrain literally sinking into the earth right now, I don't know if this is the time to be a little cheeky golf guy. Dude, that is so stupid. What is happening? <laughs> Why is this car from the Cars movie? It's trying to talk, man. How does that even... <laughs> There's nothing scary about this. This is funny, dude. It's like your car is about to sneeze. <laughs> you take it to the mechanic, they're like, What do you want us to do? We're not exorcists. That's great. Love that. Stack of wasps. That's kind of sweet. They're all hanging out. Okay, we're gonna end with this one. The title is, This man who was observed on my family's ring camera licking a doorbell for three hours. Drugs, sleepwalking, or psychotic break? I'm gonna say all of the above. My man. <laughs> Three hours? You went three hours and you didn't even push the button? Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this goofy little video. I feel like the stuff was actually pretty good today. Usually maybe half of the content we see in these videos is pretty mid, and there's usually not that much to it, but today I feel like most of this was pretty good. So that's a win for me. Oddly terrifying. What a great time. Do you feel oddly terrified? I hope so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.